Hey everybody, um, I just tried to go live on YouTube, but I couldn't figure out how to do it on my iPad. Um, so I thought I would do it on Facebook instead. Right now, I am uh, prepping for MCA Zine Fair, and I'm making these beautiful holographic um, acrylic earrings. Uh, I love how sparkly they are, and I have them in about nine colors. Um, and they're available on my Etsy store for fairly cheap because they're so simple um, if you're interested in purchasing a pair. Um, I'm going to have them in stock at MCA Zine Fair in a couple of weeks. And I've just been uh, getting all my stuff ready for that little market stall that I'm going to have there. I've got about 10 zines ready to go. And um, one of them is my abstract art. And um, six of them are my underwater photography. And three of them are my drawings made into colouring books. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to see if anyone buys anything. Whoops. Because <laughs> um, yeah, I've got ten zines and a whole bunch of um, jewellery and things like mugs and t-shirts that I've made over the years out of my artworks and um, some vintage public domain things. And yeah, I'm just going to try and downsize and get rid of a bunch of stuff because I always make a bunch but I never um, never really put them online to, to sell. It's very rare that I get the energy to do that. So, uh, yeah, it's it's cool that I've been able to lately <laughs> and I'm really making an effort to uh, to package things up beautifully and um, here they are I was looking for my little cello bags or cello bags whatever you call them refillable plastic bags that I'm putting things in uh, to protect them so I got these, um, I designed these beautiful business cards to act as my jewellery backing cards and I really like them. Uh, I sort of updated my logo a little bit. I've never really liked my logo. Um, and I put my hashtag down there and on the back I, uh, all these rainbow things are my art my paintings, and I put Handmade with Love in Sydney, Australia by a culturally diverse contemporary artist with disabilities. And uh, I really like how concise that is in telling people who I am and uh, what my art and craft is about. Uh, oops, wrong thing. I've been punching holes to hang them on um, uh, pegboard hooks through the top there with just a hole punch and this thing is a little hand punch that punches tiny holes for the earring thingies so yeah that's what I'm doing what are you doing I can't really see um, any comments anyone's making or if anyone's even watching because <laughs> uh, my iPod I mean my iPhone is pointing down towards the jewellery. So, hello if you are watching or commenting. And, sorry I'm not commenting back. Hopefully I'll figure out how to do this live thing better in the future so I can uh, figure out how to do that. Because it's a bit boring to craft on your own. But I feel like if, uh, if I do it online with you guys then it's a bit more interesting. And of course, <laughs> that holo looks so pretty. I love how it looks on camera. <laughs> um, yeah. So what else? I've been making some 
resin octopus necklaces and some shrinky dink pin-up girl earrings and lots of badges of course and I'm gonna have um, a box of vintage comics to sell there too because uh, I came across a box of um, I guess it was X comic shop stock uh, in a salvos once and I just bought the whole box because um, I got all excited to see comics uh, but they all ended up being the same ones like tons and tons of repeats of the same comics so I'll have those for sale really cheap at the zine fair um, and what else a couple of mugs that I made a couple of them are hyper color mugs with um, if you put hot water in, put your coffee in, it changes colour to a pattern that I sublimation printed on the mugs. So they're pretty cool. One says, kiss my fat ass. And the other one is my Obey collage, which is um, hundreds of vintage photos of um, cheesecake photography from the 50s, some from the 1800s. Um, up till the 50s and 60s that I collaged painstakingly cut out over months and months and collaged into a beautiful big print. And I uh, print that on uh, various things like mugs and leggings and t-shirts and things. Um, I never wear the leggings though, they're really cute. Winter's coming so hopefully I'll get a few chances to wear them. Uh, they're a cute little outfit, but um, they seem too expensive, so nobody wants to really buy my clothing prints. Never mind. I hope someone will buy these hollow earrings instead. <laughs> hmm. What else can I natter on about? I have some uh, printed doilies that I did too. They're pretty cool. I got um, some vintage comic book covers. Um, Crimes by Women is one of my favourite vintage comic book covers that is public domain. And um, I printed printed uh, that cover on a doily in a circle shape. And it's really cool. It's like, it's like nothing I've ever seen before, which is really unusual in the crafting world. Um, and at one stage I was hoping that would be a little niche thing that I would be able to do um, as a little online shop um, but my printer broke that I printed the um, doilies with so yeah that never got off the ground but I'd like to get back into it someday because I had a couple of really huge artworks planned that um, used that technique. Um, I won't tell you what they are because <laughs> then somebody will do it before me. Chances are somebody's already done it before me. <laughs> it seems like no idea is new completely. But um, I'm hoping not because I really love the idea. So, yeah, another pair of earrings down. Um, I also have a bunch of felt earrings here, done using the same technique, that fabric printing technique that I do. Um, actually, I can show you the doilies. <laughs> This is one of the doilies that I was talking about. Uh, I really, really like it. Am I still live? Okay. So yeah, that's one of the doilies that I made. And this is a bunch of the felt earrings that I made. So I'm going to try and make some of them again now. Um, they're really soft and light to wear. This is very bad filming. I'm sorry about the uh, 
I'm going to try and prop my iPad up a little bit. Let's see. Okay, that's a little better. Alright. Yeah, that's way better. Okay. Okay. So. Um, yeah, these are really light to wear. Um, and fabric-y. And, I don't know, they just feel nice. So, um, I don't know, how would you wear them? Upside down? Side? Or top? I suppose top. So I'm going to just punch some holes in this. It's hard because it's soft fabric. No, it's okay. It went alright. And uh, put little earring backings on it. I haven't tried to sell these at markets yet, but they're one of my favorite things that I've ever made. Um, so I hope they go well. I think they look really professional and pretty. Um, so yeah, I hope other people think so too. What do you think? I wish I had bigger backing cards so that uh, the, the teacups wouldn't go over the edges. Or, what I should say is I wish I had printed the teacups smaller. But, I do love big chunky earrings. So I hope somebody's going to feel fabulous with these giant tear cups. Tea cups. Tear cups. Wow. That was a huge Freudian slip. <laughs> wow. So, <laughs> you can store the tears of your enemies in these tear cups. <laughs> um, and slip them down. This is going to have to wrap around the edge. I think. To get in the cello bag. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. How do you say it? Cello bag or cello bag? Yeah, sorry. It takes a surprisingly long time to package this stuff. Um, and it's sort of meditative. It's not something that I particularly enjoy. I love making things, but I don't love all of the steps you have to take to sell them. Um, photographing them and then doing the listing and then packaging and all of the boring stuff I don't really like um, so that's why I have all this stuff that never really gets sold which is pretty crazy um, but that's okay I'm working towards it slowly Things don't have to happen immediately, they can happen in their own time. Teapots. These are vintage public domain images that I collected back in the day. And uh, nowadays I prefer doing stuff with my own art but I went through a lot of phases where I was very keen on vintage public domain collages and prints 
I, I still love them. I just feel like um, I feel like creating my own stuff is more um, emotionally fulfilling. Um, yeah. Oops. Where's the couple to that teacup? Hiding away here. Okay. Oh gosh. I can feel the uh the punch getting um duller as I go. Less sharp. I'm going to have to do some punches of tin foil to sharpen it. I thought doing these would take a long time. I suppose to do the whole lot it will take a long time. But it's going quicker than I thought it would. Which is good because... Uh, <laughs> Again, this is one of my least favorite things to do is doing the packaging and the setting up. I doing I love doing the printing and I love doing the the wearing. <laughs> I love wearing these chunky light felt earrings. But yeah. You got a package if you want to sell. So these are all one of a kind, I suppose. I've I've just been uh, sitting here thinking I wish I still had the printer because these are so beautiful. They look especially beautiful packaged up. But I do not have the printer, so I will never make these again unless I make another investment. And I don't think I will because the printers inevitably break, so it would be a useless investment. Got some typewriters here too. Um, there's not really a great place to put the hole that won't disturb the image. So I'm just going to have to put it through the image. I 
hope that doesn't make it too ugly for whoever buys it. I've got these books that I really enjoy. I really love how they look. Um, I've never read whatever book it is, but this lovely illustration of it just really spoke to me. Um, so I think I'll put the hole in the corner. But it will ruin the lovely binding, but okay, it doesn't matter. And some more teapots. I suppose I'll try and get the hole right in the top there. It's hard to see where the hole is going on this hole punch. So I have to just do a best estimate. A best of it. Hmm. I think I'll go through the handle on this one. Another teapot. Where is the second teapot? Here it is, I think. Yeah. Okay, and then I've got a couple of arsenic poison signs. They're cute. So I think, I don't know if I should go through the middle or through the corner. Maybe through the corner. Ugh. And I'm going to do them on opposite corners. So... They'll dangle on the ears, one up, one down. All right, uh, I think these two are some of my cutest little felt earrings, but I don't know where to put the hole on them, so I might make them badges. There, I actually stiffened these. These felt ones are not stiffened at all. I just printed on the felt so they're really beautiful to the touch. But these, I put fabric stiffener on so they're more, you know, they're, they're less bendy. And um, so I think they'd make a good badge rather than earrings. Um, these I did them with too, but I don't think the print turned out very well on these. So I might just... I don't know, stick them in a book or something. Um, these ones I really like. They're, again, the uh, vintage com comic book covers, public domain uh, comic called Crimes by Women, which I really like. It's the same cover as this doily. You can see. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So, yeah, hopefully they'll be cute earrings for somebody. And I have some teapots and uh, typewriters. Looks like these are slightly different size typewriters. And it looks like I'm, I've still got to cut out the edges of these ones, so I'll put them aside for now. What else have I got? Another ugly one. Ooh, these are nice. Okay. Some teapots and teacups. I went crazy with the teacups, huh? I hope somebody buys them and enjoys them. I might actually wear these teapot ones myself. They're super cute.
painting. I'm sick of felt for now, so I'll move on to the move back to the holographic acrylic earrings. I just love the rainbow sparkles that show up in these. I can see pink and electric green, electric blue, and silver dust. Ooh, oranges and yellows. Gosh, they're so pretty. I have them in a whole bunch of colors. I have blue and yellow and, well, the yellow is gold. <laughs> I have black, gold, silver, um, red, pink, blue. Um, I think I might have green. I don't know. I can't remember the rest of the colors. But they're super cute. Um, and I think in the future I'll do some more complex shapes than circles. Uh, I really love acrylic jewelry. And uh, I have some more that I've made. Do I have it here to show you? Ooh, I do. I have some um, cute little jars with hearts, also in a bunch of colors. And I uh, stuck the hearts on the jars and then hand painted some details on and have these little teardrops out the top as if, you know, you're pouring little teardrops out of your jar of hearts. <laughs> and I'm going to um, put little pin backs on them so you can wear them as brooches. And I also thought about putting earrings on them. And um, I don't have pierced ears, so personally I attach my earrings to ear cuffs, um, which is, I find, the most comfortable way of wearing earrings. Um, without pierced ears because uh, all the other ways to wear, that, wear it just hurt my ears too much. And I've also made this sort of hair clip, clothes clip with a little hair clip attachment on the back. Um, lovely gold glittery moon and um, cloud with a star and a raindrop dangle. <laughs> it's um, a prototype design I've actually got some spaceships that I'm putting across the top here um, and I'm not too sure about the dangles yet. I, they seem to sort of, the cloud gets in the way of them and the moon does too. So I'm not sure, yeah, what, how I'm going to resolve that yet. But um, I'm excited about the possibilities. Um, yeah, I've got a whole bunch of those ready to glue, but I have not gotten around to gluing them yet. And I hope to get it done before the MCA zine fair. But we'll see, we'll see. There's two weeks to go, and I've got to do a whole lot. I've got to print up my zines, I've got to package them, I've got to price them, I've got to package all the jewelry, jewelry that I have ready to go, and list it um, in an Excel spreadsheet and price it um, and then I've got to practice my stall setup. I've uh, already taped out an area on my table that's the right length and width and I have this really cool wire cube storage system that a lot of the artist alleys in the US uh, a lot of the artists seem to use them on their um, on their stalls. So I bought some, and they're fantastic, but I'm sort of just working out the best way to utilize them to make my display look great. Um, because the people in the US usually do it at Comic-Cons, and... Um, they're selling lots of prints and lots of buttons and um, yeah, I'm, I'm selling more zines, but maybe I should sell some prints as well. Actually, I have some prints here I can show you. This is one of my zines. It's, um, 
It's called Self Portrait as Riser. And it's um, printed on photo paper. And these are, it's, it's from a video installation that I did in 2016 at Barangaroo. Um, it's a 15 minute video and I took uh, footage of underwater footage with a GoPro and then videoed some painting that I did, like moving. And these are stills from the, the video that I put them together with. This is one of my favourites. So I'm selling this as a little zine booklet, but unbound so that people who um, buy it can just put them on their wall as prints. So it's kind of zine, kind of prints, you know? And I just love the rainbow colours and I love how underwater just, it seems like a whole different world. And that's the, um, the artist's statement. I don't know, I don't want to read it out really. <laughs> um, you can check out my uh, past posts if you are interested in the artist statement because, um, yeah, I've posted a lot about that in the past. Um, yeah, but I'll be selling those at the MCA Zine Fair if anyone is interested in coming along and having a chat about it or buying buying one. And if I have any left over, I'll be selling them at Otherworld Zine Fair later on the same month, which is exciting. Um, I got half a table at the MCA Zine Fair because they had so many um, applicants, so they had to turn a hundred people away and give all the people who applied just half a table to fit as many people as possible. Um, and other World Zine Fair, I think because it's um, an anti-establishment zine fair, uh, they must have had less applicants because I think I'm going to be able to get a whole stall, if not two tables, which would be great because I'd love to um, take my badge maker and let people sit down and make their own badges there. I don't know if um, the room will allow me to do that because... Um, it might take up too much space, so I might have to talk with the organisers and see if that's a reasonable request or not. Um, otherwise, I'll just have to um, organise some DIY badge making workshops because I really love making badges and I love doing it in, in a group. It's so much fun. And the workshop that I did last year... Everyone seemed to love it so much. I did it with um, people with disabilities and their carers. And they just really had so much fun. Oops. I'm putting this in backwards. Great. <laughs> that shows how tired I am. <laughs> Uh-oh. But yeah, I'd love to put on some more. Badge workshops. Uh, there we go. They were all asking me on the day if I did birthday parties. But um, that seems like a lot of stress. <laughs> uh, it's probably a good business model for somebody. But I don't think I could handle that. Ooh, I love that sparkle. <laughs> All right, I think I'm done for the evening. Thanks for watching if anyone watched. I don't think anyone's watching now, but bye! Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. 
If you'd like to watch more, click on the video to the right. If you'd like to help me make more videos, click on the left to donate a dollar to my Patreon account. And click on the circle in the middle to subscribe. Bye, sweethearts!